Let's move to the West now. We've got a sexy series tipping off in San Francisco tonight as the Mavs and the Warriors take the court. Game one of the Western Conference Finals. The Curry, Clay, Draymond Warriors are obviously well known. The core of the three Warriors title teams, of course. But Luka Doncic, he's the player who's getting the most attention after he led the Mavs past the top seeded Phoenix Suns. So, Mike, how much of a chance you give the Mavs to win this series? Not all that much. Really? I'm, no, I, I don't. I, I'm going to tell you why. Look, the Mavs are coming, all right? Yep. I dared in a text chain with my friends recently, all of whom are basketball fanatics, starting with my brother. I dared to compare Luka Doncic to, brace yourself, Larry Joe Bird. I get it. I did. I did. Because when it comes to shot making and passing, I think Doncic either is or can be Bird's equal. I mean, he's not the rebounder. Arrogance Bird averaged too, 10 rebounds arrogance. a game. He thinks he's the best guy out there, which comes He does. A long way. I mean, he matches him there, too. A yep. Great pickup there, Frank. And so I dare to do that. You know what I think of Bird and Magic and that entire generation of guys? And I'm putting Doncic, like, on the road to that category, not in it. Yep. But you know what, man? Steve Kerr played on a team with a guy named Dennis Rodman who was the ace in the deck of cards defensively. Yep. And whatever Phil Jackson wanted him to do, that's what Dennis Rodman did. And so this notion that Draymond Green is not going to be able to slow down, not stop, not going to be able to slow down Luka Doncic, I don't believe that. Draymond Green is one of the greatest defensive players of all time. He may be the best all-around defender in today's game. Don't tell me that Luka Doncic is going to post him up in the lane possession after possession after possession. I don't believe that. I believe that Steve Kerr, having played with Dennis Rodman, understands the value and the utility of that player yep. and will utilize him as such. And I, I just think Golden State should be better, even though they may have some defensive challenges yeah. of their own. Who do you think is going to complain about calls and non-calls more, Luka or Draymond Green? There's going to be a lot of that going on. There'll be a lot. A lot series. of whining. You know, it's funny, too, because the Warriors, the way they defend with Kevon Looney, you know, they could switch all over the court. You look at the advantage that Dallas had in the first round with Rudy Gobert out there. And then with DeAndre Ayton in the second round. So I think defensively, the Warriors are better equipped to kind of slow yes, down Luka they as, are. as best as you can. When they yes. go with that small lineup, though, and Jordan Wiggins. Poole, that could be a and little Wiggins. bit different. Yeah. But you said it, though, about Luka. And I think both he and Tatum doing what he did in game six against Milwaukee, 46 points on the road in a, an elimination game, puts you in a different stratosphere. And I think Luka doing what he did, especially in those last two games against Phoenix, 27 points in the first half of a game seven. Agreed. You have as many points. It just puts you in a different class. He's ready to make that big jump. I'll tell you what. I think between Jason Kidd, who, by the way, recycled coach, you know what he is? He's a coach with experience. He's better today than he was in Brooklyn and in Milwaukee. Miami, so I don't want to hear Milwaukee. about recycled coaches anymore. It's, he's yep. an experienced coach. I think if they can get scoring from Dorian Finney-Smith and, and Jalen Brunson, I think they're going to be okay. They got to get scoring from them. I just... I think Luka, he needs to be transcendent in this series. I don't see him being that against their defense in Draymond. Like, great will not win this series for Dallas from Luka, not just merely great. Yep. If he goes like he did on Phoenix, then I, all bets will be off, and I'll be the first one to apologize. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.